This is Yeshua. Today, I want to tell you about light and why it is worth recognizing, nurturing, and increasing your light. I will also give you tips on how to increase it. What is light? Light is your home. Each of you comes from divine light. Light is what you are. What else do I mean by light? Light is what our common source, creator, creatress, uses to create something new out of itself that did not exist before. Something new that has divine qualities. You were created out of light. Then came the game of duality, the game of light and darkness, the game that severed the connection to the Creator. That game is ending. It's done. As you know, the dark forces no longer have the right to operate on earth. But they can continue to play the game as long as there are so aspects incarnated on earth in human bodies that are not sufficiently connected to the light and therefore behave in a less lightful way. Behavior in this case means thinking, feeling, speaking, doing, whatever you express in this world. If you want to increase your light, become an observer and observe yourself. Do this for an entire day and you will notice which aspects of yourself call for more light, divine light. This realization is very valuable and will help you progress as you can set the intention to integrate that dark aspect of yourself into the light. As you know, what your soul desires will be fulfilled, even if you don't know how. The average light level of people on earth at this time is 30 to 50 percent. Our goal at Namas University is for you to be fully connected to your soul and thus to the light of the divine. We facilitate this through our lectures and additional study materials that you can find on our website, namasuniversity.org. Who doesn't know dark ideas, dark thoughts, or dark feelings? That which does not come from the love of the Creator has a dark aspect. This is the game that has been played, so there is no need to judge yourself or anyone else of it. Everyone has their starting position and can and will change it if they wish. It is up to you. When observing a situation, it is important not to judge but to act with compassion. You can send positive thoughts or help through action if you can. Don't get caught up in someone else's drama, but remain a compassionate witness. This is another intention you can set for yourself. Your soul will guide you. So, what specific steps do you need to take now to increase your divine light? 1. Decide to accept and reintegrate all your divine light. 2. Become a compassionate witness. Stop playing the game of judgment and blame and avoid getting caught up in other people's drama. As soon as you resonate with something dark or low vibrational, it would affect your light and vibration. 3. 
take care of yourself. This means to separate yourself energetically. Be yourself. Be the consciousness in the incarnated body on earth that you are. That is, marry matter and spirituality, the feminine and the masculine principles. Do this in everything you do. Please refer to the affirmations, invocations, and watercolors of the Sanat Kumara, which are part of our study material. There is no separation. In your modern society, especially in the West, this is a great conscious step that needs to be taken. It is to unite the feminine principle, the Eastern principle, with the masculine principle, the Western principle. I remind you of the recent lectures of Sanat Kumara, the culture of Lemuria, the feminine principle, and the culture of Atlantis, the masculine principle. It has not been possible to unite these principles for good. We want to change that according to the current divine plan so that it can evolve into a spiritual university planet for the universe as it was intended. This marriage between the feminine and masculine principles must become part of our societies, our cultures. Anything to the contrary would only reinforce what you see in the news every day. What can each of you contribute? Let's go back to the recipe of Mother Mary. Set the intention and it will happen. And then let your soul guide you. The best time to do this is early in the morning, as soon as you open your eyes. Your soul has a very high vibration. You will know when it has reached you and you have listened to it. Many people are unusually tired after their first soul contact and communication. The first time your soul reaches you and tells you why you are here, you will notice the frequency and the vibration that you have encountered. It is out of the ordinary. What is happening at this moment? The vibration of your energetic body is adjusting and undergoing a powerful energetic transformation. You can also sense it directly in your physical body. How else can you increase your divine light? Katarina has a friend who is very busy in her medical profession, but she takes three minutes every morning for a meditation in which she say to herself and feels, I am the light. This friend already has an above average amount of light in her. So this is another way. Feel within. Feel your light. Choose to expand it and take in more and more of your original divine light. There are many spiritual resources. The most important, safest, and most powerful resource is your soul. Let it take the lead. Our study material serves the same purpose. The unity chant created out of the light releases that which does not align with the divine law of oneness with all that is, meaning with the divine. It helps you to remember. How can you determine if you are acting out of the light? In the morning, ask your soul, the creator, to guide you to a path of pure divine light. Ask for protection and help from the pure divine light. In return, let go of any beliefs set in stone that you may have about your current connection to the other world. A new beginning means that we let go of everything. We completely reinvent ourselves. 
This is an important step because we are moving out of the world of light and shadow, light and dark, and into a world of pure light. What's dark will be integrated into the light. This new beginning is no time for you to judge yourself or others. No. Simply set the intention and choose to act in the light, guided entirely by your soul. Let go of the ideas of your ego. Your ego takes you in circles. Your ego keeps you where you have been for many years or where you are stuck. Embrace the light of your soul. Thank you for listening and opening your hearts. Next week, Lord Vishnu will guide you through a meditation with his co-teacher, Kumar. I bow to you.